हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आलिपुर तो जैसा कि आप सभी जानते हैं जो सी के रजिस्ट्रेशन हैं वो स्टार्ट हो चुके हैं तो आज मैं आप सभी को बताने वाली हूँ प्रोसेस क्या होती है रजिस्ट्रेशन की बहुत लोग कंफ्यूज होते हैं परेशान होते हैं रजिस्ट्रेशन के लिए तो पूरी प्रोसेस आपको अच्छे से बताती हूँ रजिस्ट्रेशन की शुरू करते हैं सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओपन योर ब्राउजर एंड इन दैट यू हैव टू ओपन आई आई बी एफ वेबसाइट सो दैट इज़ आई आई बी एफ डॉट ओ आर जी डॉट इन ओके सो यू हैव टू ओपन दिस वेबसाइट यू विल सी दीज नोटिस यू विल जस्ट हैव टू क्लोज इट नाउ गो डाउन स्क्रोल डाउन एंड यू विल सी एग्जामिनेशन एंड कोर्सेज इन दिस यू विल फाइंड ऑल दीज ऑप्शन ठीक है सो यू विल हैव टू गो टू फ्लैगशिप कोर्सेज because जे आई आई बी एंड सी आई आई बी आर द फ्लैगशिप कोर्सेज ऑल राइट नाउ इन दैट यू हैव टू चूज सी ए आई आई बी ऑल राइट ओके नाउ हियर यू कैन सी द डेट्स दैट आर देर इम्पॉर्टेंट डेट्स सो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ अप्रिल टू सेवेंथ ऑफ अप्रिल यू कैन रजिस्टर विद नॉर्मल एग्जामिनेशन फी दैट्स नॉट द लास्ट डेट ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन यू कैन रजिस्टर योर सेल्फ आफ्टर दैट एज वेल but from 8th april to 14th april you will be charged uh, extra 100 rupee for that registration okay so normal fee plus 100 rupee then from 15 to 21 this uh, extra fee increases to 200 so the normal fee plus 200 rupee extra if you want to register after that all right now the dates are given exam dates are given here you can see 10th of june 2023 is abm exam then uh, and this year the exam pattern has also changed so if you are not updated with that please have a look at that as well uh, the exam pattern has changed the number of subjects and there are so many changes in the exam pattern of jiiv as well as ciiv if you are not clear about it you can visit olive board's uh, official website and you will find all the changes that are there explained properly so on 11th you will have this uh, bfm exam then on 18th the exam is of uh, ab fm okay and uh, then on 24th june the exam is of uh, banking regulation and business laws the law um, paper that is uh, introduced okay all right now apart from these four compulsory papers you have one elective paper as well so you will have to choose your elective paper while filling the form so that elective paper the date of that one is 25th of june all right now uh, let's move ahead so the, the this um, date that is given that is for the next slot okay next slot as in the november attempt okay so we don't have to go till that time and we have to clear the exam in this attempt only so let's see now apply online okay all right here you have to click on apply online now since you have uh, uh, If you are appearing for CIIB, clearly you have already cleared JIIB. So you were already a member of IIBF. If you were to apply for JIIB, first you have to become a member of IIBF. Only after that you can proceed for the um, registration. Okay. So first you have to become a member of IIBF. Then you can apply for JIIB. But since for appearing for CIIB, you must have already cleared JIIB. So I am not going to uh, go to that topic as of now. so you are already a member now click on member okay now from here you have to click on ciiib okay now you have to enter your membership number since uh, uh, i was a member of iibf i am having this uh, membership number with me so this i have to enter once you take the membership of iibf you become the member for uh, life that uh, registration is a one time registration and you become a member for life okay so this is just a moment i am entering my details here now all right and you click on submit now these are very important instructions that are there so whatever you are selecting the center the venue the time slot nothing can be changed later on so you have to select very uh, properly whatever you want to choose your center you cannot change it further okay so this is final the registration once it's done it's final and uh, the no request for change of center venue and time slot will be entertained for any reasons okay all right and the fee cannot be refunded obviously now 
if uh, sometimes uh, some people face problem that they are unable to view the venue details the drop down list um, does not show properly so in that case what you are uh, required to do is you should clear your browsing history and after that you can start the registration process again or you can open it in incognito mode as i have done here okay all right now here all the dates exam dates are given then um, the details about um, uh, this uh, exam is given eligibility is given okay registration uh, the first attempt fee second attempt fee third attempt fee it's all different you can go through it very properly because it's very important for you to understand um, and uh, people get confused in uh, because jib registration and cib registration there are differences in these so don't get confused just go through this whole thing once and you'll get a clear idea everything is written it's self explanatory you don't need any further guidance if you go through this page once okay so all these details are given now i'm scrolling down and uh, here i have read the rules and regulations and other instructions governing the above examination and i agree to abide by the rules regulation and instructions i agree i'll click on this okay after that here since i'm already a member my first name and uh, last name is given here okay <clears throat> now uh, the exam name ciib now here uh, first of all i have to choose my medium let's say english center name let's assume that i'm taking any center mm, all right okay now just so you can choose any center here all right okay let's say mumbai now venue so out of the options that are available here you are going to choose one of these then date is only one the abm exam is going to be um taking place on 10th of june only so there is no option of date but yes time slot you have an option to choose from three time slots and mind you if you are not quick with the registration at the end you are left with just one slot which might not be preferable to you so my advice would be to be very uh, just like today you are watching this video go and register today itself okay so that you can get your preferred time slot and preferred center okay now uh, for the second paper venue and date date is also the same case with the first one um same case as the first one 11 june is the only date available and time slot i am choosing here then for the third paper i am choosing all these things and uh, similarly here for the fourth paper i am choosing all these dates all these uh, information okay now i have to choose my elective paper let's say i am taking information technology and digital banking choose your elective paper wisely as per your knowledge of that subject since i am from computer science background i would prefer this paper okay all right now here i am choosing the venue date and time okay now if you want to they provide some e learning module so if you want to go for the e learning modules you have to pay 100 rupee per subject extra so yes or no these options are there or uh, if you are choosing yes then for which all subjects do you need this uh, e-learning module so let's say i am choosing for all it's not compulsory you can uh, click on no as well and uh, you can opt out of this uh, e-learning module okay now let's talk about uh, okay so let's say we are selecting on no or okay let's select it all yes all right it depends on you if you want to take those e-learning modules the learning material you can select yes okay now you have to choose your place of work then your state of work here now what is the pin code of that area now you have to indicate whether you are a person with benchmark disability and uh, do you intend to use the service of stripe so by uh, here what happens if you want to use the service of stripe there are certain conditions um if you are having some issues with uh, your eyesight or your uh, um, writing hand is uh, affected so um you can choose a stripe as well okay now i'm clicking on preview okay 
so let's see all right so these are all the informations that i have entered and uh, uh, my choice is given here and i just have to go through it once more because uh, you cannot change it later on okay so once you have checked it all you just click on pay online and you will be redirected to the payment page okay so and once you make the payment your registration is over so i think no one would have explained you all these details uh, till this last stage i'm really hoping it will help you all in the registration the amount is showing uh, 6372 now here we have uh, chosen those uh, e-learning modules as well okay so um, it depends on you whether you want to go for those e-learning modules or not and based on that your total amount will be shown so i hope i was able to clear your doubts if you have any queries any doubts any confusion feel free to write down in the comment section and i will be more than happy to address all your queries if you are appearing for ciib the um, this olive board platform has come up with a lot of courses uh, specially tailored to cater all your needs as per the new pattern of this exam so i would recommend you all to go through uh, the olive wood website once and uh, have a look at the courses that they are offering and um, you will find the individual courses as well modular courses as well mcq courses are there then crash course is there and full course as well bilingual course is there english medium course is there so just go through the website once and uh, you can use the coupon code SHUBHI to get the maximum discount in any of the courses of Olive Boat. So this is it from my side. I hope you all enjoyed the session. I hope uh, it was informative for all of you. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll meet in the next session and uh, you can write down what you want me to explain in the further classes. And uh, I'll try to come up with those videos and I'll try to guide you in my free time as much as I can. Thank you so much and all the very best.